If you love exploring the map and doing a bunch of looting like I do, you're definitely going to want this charm, the charm of Irari. It's a utility charm that increases supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and yay wood gained from all your collecting. So stay tuned, this video will show you exactly where to get it. It's pretty easy. Konnichiwa everyone, welcome back to the Ghost of Tsushima. We are back and we are talking about one of the specific charms that we found while roaming the round. It is the charm of Irari. As you can see, it's a utility charm. It can be put in the first two slots of your charm satchel here, your slots there. It increases the supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and yay wood that you get when you're collecting, which is fantastic because a lot of that stuff, especially the predator hides, are used great for a lot of things, and the Yewood isn't around very much, so when you can actually gain more of it, this charm is fantastic. I highly recommend getting this charm and putting it on your character build when you're out roaming around and you're collecting stuff. Of course, when you go back into combat, you're doing through a mission or something, you might want to change a little bit up to put in some other defensive charm in there, but for the time being, if you're out roaming around like we do quite a lot, you definitely want this charm. Now, as we've showed in other videos, the charms are found at the Shinto Shrines, right? The Shinto Shrines, and this one we found pretty easily. We'll have to show you exactly where it is. We found quite a lot of them. If we go over to our map, I'll show you exactly where this one is. It is this shrine right here, Arrow Peak Shrine. As you can see right here, it is, uh, whoops, way too far out. I hate that it does that so easily. It is right down, kind of south in the map, above... Uh, Azamo Foothills and uh, what's that even say right there? Let me get that mark out of the way. Sakimori Overlook. We're looking right here for the Arrow Peak shot, Arrow Peak Shrine. We will go ahead and head over there and show you exactly where it is, how to get into it, and the route you need to take to get up to the top. All right, so we made it over to the beginning of the the gates here for the Arrow Peak Shrine. Show you the map exactly where we are. Uh, we are just right here. It is kind of far to get up in there it's about right here when we get there we might have to run past some people but uh, this is a great spot right now right next to the Kai's Pond if you go right next to Kai's Pond right there you should be able to find yourself the easy entrance to follow these these uh, gateways up into the shrine we'll run up there real quick and see if we can figure out how to get up there just follow these roads you can see you can follow the road and follow the shrine at some point on most of these shrines like all of them you will come to, uh, you know, a dead end when you get close up there. And that's when you have to figure out exactly how to navigate the situation. Some of them are a lot easier than others. This one wasn't too bad. We'll go through it again real quick with you guys here in the video. Some of them that are out on uh, the cliffs are pretty hard. So you do want to make sure you turn left here. Don't go off that way. That just goes around the other side. We want to keep going up. Up, up, up. Because this is called a peak right the shrine is on the peak so you want to keep going up follow these these pathways up to the top here the arrow peak shrine there we are as you can see the bridge is broken down right here but you know that's when we have to jump off our horse and uh figure out an awesome way back up here there is the shrine up there we're trying to get to of course we can't get across there one easy way is a lot of these shrines actually kind of sh map out as you can see see all the collectibles that we get along the way look at all that make sure you get all this stuff and uh just follow this follow this path of collectibles and uh you're on your way now you can't go over that bridge so we got to jump across this do some sweet parkour over these trees here some pretty cool parkour in this game actually and then we just keep going up make sure you grab all these flowers and whatnot this one isn't too bad. Not too many hidden spots in this in this one very much. We got to go uh, under the rocks here, crawl on through, and then we rotate around to the left on the cliff here. Let's get ourselves out of here. Back out into the open. All right, looks like we're going to do some climbing now. Jump across here. Nice, great view. Look at the great view down there. That's fantastic. This game is amazing if you like just roaming around and, and learning and seeing some amazing views there. All right, come around, start climbing back up again. It's like we got a couple of just stair-steppy rocks up here. 
we come to an end right here. Now this one's a pretty big jump. We gotta jump across to that ledge, and then we uh, go around to the right. So we're gonna do a pretty good leap here. Not too bad. And then cruise around this way. Now it looks like we're kind of back to where we started, but we can, uh, we got a scroll right here. The Mongols came in the night. Luckily, Father was on the watch. He set fire to the bridge. Oh, so they, they set fire to that, so the, the Mongols couldn't get up there. I cleaned the wounded. He's sleeping now. I think he has a fever. Uh-oh. Father is in trouble. That's not good. He's coming around this way, and of course, another bridge is broken. Not too bad, though. We'll come around here, go through this little opening right here. Make sure to get all the collectibles you can, because there are a ton of stuff. Father's sick, he can't stop shivering, and he's running out of food. As if it weren't bad enough, the Mongols are back. Brother is scared, and we're fi we'll find a way across the bridge. I hope they made it. I really do. So this is this was their little camp. Oh, then that must be Father right there. He got burned up in the fire. Not good, not good. All I gotta do is just jump with these rocks here, cruise on up this way, do a little more parkour across this. Big jump! And then we gotta get across these branches here. I'm, I'm loving the parkour in this game and all the great stuff you can climb and do. Some of the ones we had to do on a cliff, which we might make some videos on those ones as well, were, were pretty insane. Jump across here. And that's that's about it. All we do is drop down here and uh, climb up a little bit more. Take in the crazy view right and there should be a path right here for you to go right on up get yourself up to the top honor the shrine and you're gonna get a pretty awesome charm for coming to this one here let's see what he has to say about what's going on in his life take in the scenery namaste Look at that, even the rain kind of, the sun comes out. I love when you do all these, look at that. It was kind of rainy and bad, look. Look at the sun come out now. It's fantastic. Changes the freaking weather when you do this. The charm of Inari. The charm of Inari of agriculture. Now again, we take a look at it real quick. It is this one here. You can use it in your first two slots because it is a, uh, a utility charm or a defensive charm you can only use in those. If we go to our our gear here, you cannot you cannot use high end charms in the first two spots. As you can see they have a little gold ring around them. You only can put gold charms in these two spots, and you can put minor ones in here. So we could change this one over here to the charm of Atari. That'll increase our supplies, bamboo hides, or predator hides, bamboo and yay wood that we get from collecting stuff. And then we could go down here and go, like we've done in other videos, go to some fox dens and unlock this spot, which we have done on a different save. So there we go. We got one wax wood. We actually put that on. If we run down here, I think I saw some stuff we can loot, right? What's this right here? This is just bamboo. We should get a couple bamboo from this. Three bamboo from that. That would normally be one. That would normally be one bamboo from that right there. That's pretty cool. Definitely when you're out roaming around, you want to come to this spot here and pick up this charm again i'll show you the map again exactly where we were at man look at that view you can see almost the whole island from up here that's pretty awesome if we take a look at the map like i said the easiest place to find it is right here next to keys pond follow this trail on up and uh, use the method that we did to get all the way up to the top of it and you'll unlock that charm the charm is pretty awesome i would highly recommend coming getting it especially if you guys are into collecting and just out roaming around a lot. You easiest thing is you can always change these out. So if you get some cool defensive one where you, when you're fighting, you could swap it out. But when you're out just roaming around and uh, collecting hides or wood and supplies, just just hanging out in the wilderness there, definitely get this charm and throw it on because it will allow you to yield a lot more from collecting. So you can use that stuff to increase your weapons and all that fun stuff when you go meet some of those trappers and the swordsmith and things like that. Well, this video helped you out. Make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for tons more Ghost of Tsushima content, including tips and tricks, gameplay, and some fun streams. You guys hope to see you out on the island sometime. 
But until then, sayonara. <laughs>